that there's going to be some people out there who are going to buy it as a toy. 99% of the guys are going to buy it as a tool, and they're really going to make the thing work for them. If you're going to ask me the question, well, do you have to be Superman to fly it? The answer is no. I think that you have to be a fairly good, uh, you've got to be a thinking pilot, but you're not going to be in any speed region that's going to scare you. Uh, if you can fly a Bonanza, or if, you fly a, if you're multi-engine rated, you're all the better, but you don't even have to be multi-engine rated. It's easier, well, I'll say that right now, it's almost as easy to fly as a single engine, high performance general aviation airplane, a la Glass Air, or Landcare, or, or Lance Air, or Bonanza, or, or that quality. who is capable of flying a high-performance single-engine airplane or a light twin to basically step into this airplane, get trained in it, understand the increased performance capabilities, but fly just as safe, just as smooth, and just as simple. What we tried to do in, in choosing the structure was to be able to use materials that uh, were very well proven, ones that would last for 20, 30, 40 years. Uh, we did not also try to put those materials to their extreme limits. We use a lot of metal bonding, metal honeycomb. Uh, but this is the type of material that's used on Boeing 707s and, and 757s right now. I've logged 10 or 15,000 hours of dreaming about this airplane and how it's going to work. So uh, I know what it's going to do. And it's going to surprise a lot of people.